Welcome back to What RT Noobs. This is a Panzer 45 or from Thea. It's uh, the Tier 5 German Premium Medium Tank. It's located on the south spawn of Lakeville and it's under the command of Heavy 999. Now, many, many of you have actually seen this premium tank and we've actually done it before, Hello, done sir. videos of it. And we've got no engine noise, oh dear. And it sounds like he's got a female commander as well. Well, what can I tell you about this tank? Well, they only made one prototype of the Bergpanther, which was actually fitted with the Panzer IV turret, but it was only a prototype. It wasn't actually uh, put into production. They uh, did place an order for the um, Panther, or Panzerkampfwagen Fumpf, as it was. Um, but... Uh, not this particular version, no, with the standard Panther turret. Now, what's so good about this is it has a much better fire rate than the Panther. Basically, the same hull as a Panther. As you can see, 740 is the hit points on it. But uh, it's got the 75mm gun from the Panzer Fier, not the Panzer Fumpf. Because, of course, the... Uh, L40 was the gun on the Panzer Fia, and the L70 was the gun that was actually put on to the Panzer Fumpf. Okay, well, nothing yet. I suppose he's waiting for somebody to come along the uh, lake road, but nobody appears to have turned up. Okay, it's time to go to town. And he's loaded the APCR. Reload time is fairly quick, actually. 3.49 seconds. It's much quicker than with the uh, L70 gun on the Panther. It's decent penetration with standard rounds. It'll do 110. And with the APCR, it will go through 158 millimeters. Oh, now he's rammed that Leopard. And Leopards are normally very good at ramming other tanks, but yeah, that guy's had his day. He's back in the garage. Made a bit of a boo-boo there. Just allowed himself to get tracked too easily. And got an outline of a T1 Heavy, and he's now playing peekaboo. I think that's Commander AF. I think he's put Commander AF in his tank. If he says boom baby or she says boom baby, then we know it definitely is Commander AF. Okay, it's a pity we can't get those, um, those voiceovers for other players because I think some of them would like to get them but just can't. Especially the European players, because of course uh, they they may not be on the NA server, or they may be on the NA server, but they may not have a copy of Commander AF's voice in the tank. But it's very funny whenever they've heard it with other community contributors and content creators. Okay, sneaking up on the... Yep, KD1 wasn't waiting for him. He was actually blissfully unaware. Oh, that one bounced off. But he has tracked the Type 64. One more shot to kill him. There you go. Now he's just going to go to town on the KV-1. He really didn't pay attention as to where the shot came from. And just turned around. And now he's being permanently tracked. Because that's going through his drive wheel. Oh, no, he did manage to get one shot in this direction. So did the Fifi. Fifi hit us for 166. There goes the engine. Oh. Now, that was a bit unfortunate. The M6 alongside us just got taken out by the enemy SU-85I. So, at least I think it's an SU-85. I think, no, it's an SU-85, not the A5I. No, I was right the first time. It is the A5I, which is basically, as you may know, a, a Soviet version of the, uh, of the German uh, Stug. And there he is, he's up on the bridge road, but on ahead of us we've got a T-34 shield as well. Both dangerous. Going for the TSU-85i, yep, nice shot. 
That one hit the tracks. Ignore that one. Go to the SU-85. Should take out the T-34 shot nearby him, but he's actually killed the SU-85 by now. There's the main problem. That one there. Head to the rock and shoot around the side. And he's gonna... He couldn't even see us. Which is sad, really, because... Uh, we're much more dangerous to him than the other tanks. This fire rate that gets them in the end. Well, that was a low roll, but that's a kill. Oh, it wasn't a kill. And he dropped track, but that shot brings up his top gun. Oh! <laughs> this time around, it's the Sherman 3 with a 105mm round. But he only did 60 hit points of damage, so I suppose we got away lightly on that because he could have done a lot more damage. He just couldn't get through the hull. Remember that Berg Panther hull with that heavily angled front plate does tend to avoid a lot of damage. There's the show. One shot. There's only one enemy remaining, and it's the Striv M4257. And he's just around the corner, and I'm pretty sure that Heavy wants that kill as well. Because it's a Radley's if he does. Don't get in the way, Mr. Leopard. Oh! That was not nice! Don't get in the way. We, we're on a mission. We need that last kill. He's going as fast as he can, but of course you know the valley is trouble. He gets one shot into the Striv. Is he going to be denied the Radley's? Come on, motor! It looks like the Striv is dealing out a lot of damage and he's just killed our Fifi in the valley. Heavy's coming up behind him as quickly as he can. That Striv's probably on reload by now because if anything, he would have popped the reload the moment he killed the Fifi. And yes, the Striv's well on his way towards our cap. And I think he's aware we're here, so obviously he's coming back. One shot in. You can afford to take one hit, but only one, really. No, that one didn't work. Yep, that's it. That's a Radley's. And that wins the game. So, <laughs> nicely done. Heavy 999. Here's the end of battle results. It was a first-class tanker. For Heavy 999 and the Panzerkampfwagen von Fier. And in fact, that's the first time he's had the first class tanker in this tank. Even though it's quite an OP medium tank, it really is. Uh, because it tends to go into battles tier 5, tier 6. And when it does, when it can dominate the other side. So uh, this was a tier 6 battle. Let's have a look at the uh, awards. He managed to get a fire for effect for doing more damage to hit points to his own vehicle. The duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get 12. He got a sharpshooter for getting at least 10 or more consecutive shots on the enemy. A hand of God for surviving the battle. Hammer received damage from four different enemies. As well as a leather slaves medal. This is the epic medals. He managed to destroy two enemy tanks or tank destroyers with a medium tank. And they had to be at least one tier higher than his. And I think in that battle he killed the Type 64, which was a higher tier. And he also killed the Striv M4257. That's another high, higher tier. He also got a Radley's Waters, which is for getting at least eight enemy kills in the game. He did get eight exactly. A cool headed for surviving the battle. Henry received ten or more ricochets, non-penetrating shots. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And a top gun for getting at least six kills. His win rate from the game was 7,905, which is Super Unicum standard. So let's have a look at team score and see where he stands. Well, right at the top of the table, 2,695 hit points. The next high scorer was the Striv M4257 on the enemy team, 2,324. And he also managed to get a Pascucci's and a Top Gun in that game. There was only... Two other members of our team still alive at that, the end of that game. And one of them was the Leopard who was circling in the cap as you saw. And the KV-1 who was a little further behind. When it came to kills, it was definitely heavy. You've got the highest with eight. The next high scorer being the Striv M4257. He had six kills. And then three kills went to our Fifi. Just before he was, he was killed. It's the last victim of the Striv M42 giving him his top gun. When it came to base XP, 
It's yes, heavy 999 again. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,791. He's the only player to get over a thousand. As you can see, this tank is so OP. He's got a very high score compared to the others. The next highest scorer in the game is actually the Striven 4257 with 724, followed by his own Fifi with 705. He fired 33 rounds in that game, 32 direct hits and 27 penetrations. Damage of 2,695 hit points, of which 124 were at more than 300 meters, so most of the damage done at close range. 19 hits received, only 3 of which actually penetrated, 14 non-penetrations, but he did get some hits from the RT, yes, 2 hits by way of splash damage. 360 hit points of damage blocked by armor, 1 enemy vehicle spotted, 8 enemy vehicles damaged, 8 destroyed, and 897 hit points of spotting assist in that game. On a premium count, he earned 80,580 credits. At least I think that's 580 credits. Just check that to make absolutely certain. Yes, it is. And 105,000 for completing a mission and events. So his total was 185,580. And after repair, ammunition, resupply and consumables, he took away a profit of 121,795 credits altogether. He earned 2,686 XP times 2 for the first victory, 1,344 for completing a mission and 1,075 for bonus for this being a premium vehicle. Took away 7,792 experience points altogether. Now this tank is one I thoroughly recommend everybody to buy if you get the chance. I know it was up in the black market uh, earlier in the year. If you actually asked for the secret garage or you know paid to have the secret garage, for me it was the first one that popped up. But I, I, I ignored that one and went straight for the very next one which came up, which was actually the Black Dog, because of course the Black Dog is a, a tier eight premium, which is actually quite decent. It's uh, based on the Walker Bulldog. But this thing is actually kind of like a Panther tank operating at tier 5. And the, as you know, the Panthers are tier 7 medium. It doesn't quite have the hit points of the, um, the tier 7 Panther, but it does have a reasonably good gun, a fairly good bouncy hull. As you saw, he managed to block quite a few shots that were aimed at him. And its fire rate is so good that it can take down enemy tanks fairly quickly because whilst they're still struggling to reload he'll be out firing you out shooting you and taking you down that way so well done to heavy 999 not the first time we featured this tank but certainly i expect that we'll have to feature it more than once again uh, when people get hold of them and have really great games like this if you enjoyed this replay please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm And thank you for watching.